All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 607 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am Via Baller. We'll be able to talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And today we're going to end the week with some more Georgia Southern talk. Georgia, you know, Georgia Southern has done very well for themselves as far as recruiting this week. It's been very, very good. Um, I know uh, we talked uh, about a few guys that were recruited from big from the Big Ten that transferred back to Georgia. And we talked about the wide receiver that's in Macon that, uh, that committed. And um, now we're going to talk about a couple of uh, more. Uh, we're going to talk about two more guys. And they're from the state of South Carolina. And I think Georgia Southern started a pipeline out of the state of South Carolina. I'm sorry, out of the state of North Carolina. Very interesting because we have a handful of guys out of the Charlotte area, pretty much from the same high school. They're all going to be teammates once again playing at Georgia Southern. So we're going to talk about that. Um, as if, if this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on uh, Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Uh, if you don't mind, help the podcast grow. Give me a five-star rating on the Apple Podcast. Hit the like button. Let people know what we're doing over here. We are spreading the information and the hype around Georgia Southern football because football season will be here in about 73, 70 days, something around there. I mean, it's, it'll be here before you know it. Also, we talk about Atlanta Falcons football as well. So it's a lot of things that are moving over here. Um, also, I could be found at uh, VF Baller on Twitter, at VF Baller. You can uh, check uh, out things over there that don't make the show. I usually post those things. And also, the website is firstofframerace.com. All right, let's just go ahead and get into this. George Southern is um I had another quarterback commit. And uh it's very interesting because we are like cranking out um quarterback commits like crazy. We've been doing it ever since Coach Clay Helton made his way to Statesboro. And this time we have six foot three, two hundred and five pounds, Tyler Budge out of Matthews, North Carolina, Weddington High School. He's a three star um uh, recruit um based on ESPN recruiting. Um, I'm looking at some of the things on film. He looks really good. He looks like a really good um, pickup for Georgia Southern. What makes this even sweeter? Um, Georgia Southern was competing with Appalachian State and Arkansas State to get this kid, and we end up picking him up. Hopefully, with the way things are going at Georgia Southern, we should be able to um, – get this guy in a rotation somehow. I mean, we have a lot of talent at quarterback, so I don't know how this is going to play out. Sometimes it makes me wonder that um, how the quarterback situation is going to play out. We got um, uh, J.C. French that's going to be behind uh, uh, Davis Brin, possibly, just the way it looked like right now. We got Davis Brin, J.C. French. You got Connor um, Colton Fitzgerald. You got Bo Allen. You got, you got a lot of talent here, a lot of talent. And I think we got Kobe Walton is another quarterback that we picked up. I mean, we got some talent. We got some really good talent. So for us to pick up, um, you know, Tyler Budge is very interesting. Uh, the quarterback uh, situation is high on competition. Um, you know, the competition is there. Uh, and it, it's, it's always going to be competition with uh, Coach Clay Helton on the made the best man uh, get the spot. But uh, with the transfer of Davis Brin, just like how we have with Kyle um, Van Trees, basically what this look like is going to be like a quarterback camp for all uh, underclassmen. Um, J.C. French, you know, uh, all the other guys that are um, underclassmen are basically going to learn the quarterback position. If you want to be, if you want to be one of those guys that put up numbers like Kyle Van Trees did and, you know, be really recognized as one of the top quarterbacks in the country, uh, it's going to take some time in my opinion. You know, I mean, unless you have like extreme high talent and you just come in here and light it up uh, in your freshman or sophomore year. Um, as far as the quarterbacks go, I like every single quarterback we got. I do like Colton Fitzgerald a good bit. I mean, I like the way that he has progressed since he's um, came here from Boise State. Hopefully, we will continue to see the progression of all these guys, and uh, we can start banging out quarterbacks back to back. You know, like once Davis, you know, graduates or once he's finished his football career, we'll see another one come in, then another one come in, and that, that's the way it looks like it's going to be. And Tyler Budge is going to be another guy that's going to be in the mix. Uh, really good talent uh, from what I see. Looking at some of his junior uh, season highlights here on 247sports.com. 
Um, he like I said, he look he looks pretty good. So I'm 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 really excited about this. This is uh really cool to add another quarterback to the mix. Uh, I, I just can't wait to see how this goes because um like I said, you had a lot of um you had a lot of other schools that was going at them. Appalachian State, you know Arkansas State. I mean you had Furman. <laughs> Man, I remember we used to play Furman all the time. Richmond, you know, Ar- like I said, Arkansas State, Charleston Southern. Let me see if there's anybody else that uh that catches the interest of. Uh, okay, we had o- Old Dominion, Mid Mid Tennessee was another uh school. Liberty, what was going after him? Uh, James Madison and Connecticut. So we we I mean th- this just goes to show you how well this uh team. Or this uh, coaching staff is really uh, how well they're doing as far as recruiting and pulling players. I mean, we're going up against fierce competition against all these other schools, and he decided to come down here to Georgia Southern. Even with the depth chart the way it is, uh, it just shows you that they really believe in you know they really believe in what we're doing down here, and that's that's pretty cool. So we want to continue to see how this goes. Want to watch you know throughout the season and watch how these players uh you know progress. Especially at the quarterback position, because it's going to be really, um, it's going to be really, uh, you know, interesting. Because you know that's a one man, you know, position. You know, the quarterback is the guy that goes. So, um, uh, really interesting to see. All right, before I get out of here, I want to talk about this other uh commit that we have. Man, oh man, I'm actually a little bit excited about this. I wish I would have talked about this earlier, but we may extend this uh, con- this uh this conversation on this episode because of this because. Um, we just got another uh commit, Eli Anders out of Huff High School, is that's what they call it? Uh William Amos Huff High School out of um Cornelius, North Carolina. It's like right outside of Charlotte. Now, let me tell you about this. You see all those guys that's on the screen. If you're watching this on a YouTube or Rumble, all four of those guys that are wearing the Georgia set, well, you still got the coach there, but all those guys, all those players right there, they were uh, teammates at one time. All of them were teammates. And for him to go ahead and, and commit to George Southern was almost like a no-brainer when you think about it. You look at Eli Anders and you look at the places that he could have went, Chattanooga, Memphis. Uh, let me see who else was uh, actually coming, going after him as well. Uh, like I said, Chattanooga, Memphis. It looked like that was it, just Chattanooga and Memphis. And uh, they kind of dropped the ball on this because from the way this thing looked, it looked like this kid's going to be um, – really good you know uh it looked like he has a lot of talent under his belt and plus plus he's playing with his uh former teammates now the former teammates that you see on the screen you know you got Braden palmer you have deshaun davis and uh oh goodness who's the other person out oh, please forgive me i had his name right here uh oh yeah uh let's see he's number 13 i know that he's number 13 i know that where did it go? Where did it go? Isaac Walker. Um, so you had Isaac Walker. Like I said, once again, I'm gonna go back and say that Isaac Walker, Deshaun Davis, and Braden Palmer. All those guys came from uh Huff High School in uh, right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. So those are the guys that are pictured on the screen, and. Like I said, it was almost like a no-brainer. All these guys pretty much play like around the same position. Isaac Walker is a defensive lineman. You know, you got Braden Palmer. He's also a defensive lineman. You got Deshaun Davis, another defensive lineman. And now you got Eli Anders, another guy that's an edge rusher. Um, let's talk about him a little bit. Six foot four, two hundred and thirty pounds. Uh, and I mean, he did this. And if you really look at the picture. I mean, he he has a little bit more, a little bit more of a size than the other guys. You know, I mean, you, you still see, you know, um, who's that? I think it's Deshaun Davis. Yeah, 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 you got Deshaun Davis right there. Probably about the same size as him, but he's what you know, he got him about like forty pounds, six two, two eighty. So you got some dogs that are coming here. That's out of Huff High School, and the pipeline is real, guys. I mean, when you look at this, and these guys that are actually, uh putting themselves together to be brothers in arms, to play together from their high school career coming into their uh, college career. It just, it it really gives you a sense of familiarity, some chemistry and what we thought about the defense, you know, back, you know, last year when we had a little bit of issues with defense, 
I think the next couple of years we're gonna be pretty good with it. So Georgia Southern is doing something really nice. I mean, you know, I, I really love what they're doing here. At one point, you know, I just thought that, you know, we just get a lot of talent with the, the with the coaching staff we have, we just get the talent. But once again, it just shows that they're trying to build something here. And, and when you get guys from a particular area that are familiar with each other, with that is known to having good talent. I mean, we have to understand North Carolina has really good talent. I mean, Appalachia State does really well getting talent from there. North Carolina does as well. NC State, you know, I mean, Wake Forest. I mean, you, 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 I mean, even the Virginia area, they pull talent out of North Carolina. And when you go down to South Carolina or even go like the Tennessee, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good area up there where you can pull talent from for us to come all the way from Statesboro to get guys to come play here. Let, you know, and not only that, just some guys from like the same high school, you know, that just goes to show you that there's a really good connection, a really good relationship with that school where you get now four guys that are basically on the same in the same area on that front seven that's going to be playing with each other for it, 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 some capacity, you know, within the next two to three years. You know, that I think that is really, really awesome. So shout out to Coach Clay Helton once again, you know, getting another quarterback, getting another edge rusher. And this edge rusher is familiar with the other three that's already here. Um, like I said, uh, Tyler Budge out of uh, Weddington. Uh, I think I said that right. Let me make sure I said that right. Out of Weddington, North Carolina. But that's the high school. Yeah, Weddington High School out of Matthews, North Carolina. You also have Eli Anders out of Cornelius, North Carolina, which is basically the high school, um, you know, uh, Will Jim Amos Huff High School. Both guys will be here in the year 2024. And uh, that that's just, that's just really awesome. I mean, at the end of the day, you cannot ask for more than that. And once again, um, Anders is... Uh, former teammates or will be teammates again with Braden Palmer, Deshaun Davis, and uh, Isaac Walker. I, I mean, you just, it, it's, it's just it's really, really cool to see this. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get up out of here. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you are a Georgia Southern fan, what do you think about these next two guys that are up, you know, um, that are going to be uh, in the fold for uh, Georgia Southern? I think these are pretty solid pickups i mean i think we're doing phenomenal great week of uh recruiting especially in that area of north carolina i mean we still got other guys in the north carolina area that you know i haven't even talked about you know like you talk about the the, the tyrell davis's of the world i think he's from harrisburg yeah north carolina you also have a few other guys that's from the north carolina area as well that's on the team it's just it, it's just an awesome thing man and it's it's great you know, not only just, you know, with the quarterback and uh, we've got the edge rusher for North Carolina, we've got like four or five other guys from the area uh, or well, from the state. And, and you just can ask for more than that. You know, it's, it's really cool. So I'm really excited. Once again, I can be found on YouTube and Rumble, also on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, Google Podcasts. Don't forget before you leave this uh, show, put give me a five star rating on that Apple or a high star rating on the other podcast avenues. Uh, and hit the like button if you're on YouTube or Rumble. I want to get up out of here. You guys enjoy your weekend. I will be here if something was to pop up as far as, uh, you know, any news, whatever the case may be. I will be posting a news on the YouTube channel. And um, I'll just see you guys then. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. And y'all be blessed. Peace.